Well, waking us up for breakfast this morning is Karen Morgan. She's the founder of Blackbird Bakery, which is an online bake shop that has all kinds of recipes that are gluten-free, and it's caught the attention of celebrities like Courtney Cox. Thanks for joining us this morning, Karen. I'm so excited we're making blueberry pancakes today, which are one of my favorites growing up. But let's start by explaining gluten-free and why that's important to some people. Absolutely. So gluten-free basically means it's taking a variety of different flours and combining them to make it just as good, if not better, than their gluten contemporaries. And gluten is, I call it the magic rubber band in traditional baking. It's what holds everything together. Okay. So when you're baking gluten-free, that's the real challenge, is how do you make something that doesn't fall apart? Right. So okay. I'm going to show you how to make your favorite gluten-free, <laughs> your favorite um, pancakes gluten-free. This is a, a, my custom blend for pancakes, and you can find that on my website at okay. blackbirdbakery.com. Okay. And um, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of buttermilk. Oops. And so what did we just add right there in addition to the um, sugar and that buttermilk? Was, that, so the flour is a combination of sorghum flour, um, oat flour, and a few other things in there. It's okay. A, and then guar gum, baking powder, and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Mix this together. And it's just like regular batter. Now, how did you get started with all of this? I mean, you just kind of dove in and started creating your own recipes? Well, pretty much. I was diagnosed with celiac disease in 2002, and the available products at the time were so awful. I was like, this is not going to be my life. Uh -huh. You know, I was, I've been a foodie ever since I can remember, uh -huh. and I was like, you know, there have to be other people out there just like me that want to have delicious tasting food where it's not a compromise. Right. You know, sure. because before everything, I mean, literally things were so bad I had to spit them out. Oh. I was like, I cannot live like this. Right. And so it really, Blackbird Bakery is about the pleasure principle. And so the next book, the next cookbook I'm working on actually is all about comfort food. Okay. And so it's taking, um, so the concept is people who want to have their childhood recipes converted to gluten free, mm -hmm. they make a contribution and I do the conversion for them and then we put them all together into a cookbook. Right. So it's really exciting. That is. So, so, so this is a way to kind of keep everything tasting good and uh, a lot of variety of foods because I mean you have everything on there from breakfast foods to dinner foods to desserts on your, everything, on your website. Everything. Everything is on there so anything that you want I, I can provide for you but really it's about getting the community involved and saying you know I've seen different recipes on different websites that I really like but what about the things that you grew up with? Mm -hmm. When I was first diagnosed that was the thing I missed the most. I missed sure. my grandmother's ravioli <laughs> and you know my mom's oat bread and so it's kind of like you know what you don't have to sacrifice anything. Let's mm -hmm. get together and create something really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, and ca pass on your culinary, you know, lineage. There's so, so much culture involved with that. And Why was, give it up? Was it a lot of just kind of trial and error? Oh my God, part? so much. Yeah. I mean, it literally, to make my first cookbook, it was a trial and error that lasted about seven years. Wow. So I trained myself. There were no gluten-free cooking schools when I embarked on this journey. So I threw a lot of stuff away. So <laughs> now that we have everything kind of com combined here, uh -huh. you, uh, is it just normal pancake This cooking? is just m normal pancake cooking. Ooh, that one looks like he should have been... Tossed out. The tossed out, excuse me. So the thing, I like making these for my son every morning, and so you can make um, with, you know, chocolate chips, blueberries, pa uh, bananas, anything you can think of pretty much. Well, so you can customize them as you see fit. Um, but basically, it's like, this is just like traditional pancake batter. You wait for the bubbles to appear, you flip it, uh -huh. and then serve it up. Well, we want to encourage everyone to go to your website, which is uh, blackbird-bakery.com, right. and uh, you can submit y your favorite food, and she'll turn it into a gluten-free recipe. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll be right back.